And now for our dinosaur of the day, Afrovenator, which was a request from Cole via Patreon. So thanks, Cole. The name means African hunter, and it was a megalosaurid theropod that lived in the Middle Jurassic in what is now Africa, and specifically Niger. Fossils were found in 1993 in Niger near a sauropod named Jobaria, and Afrovenator was described in 1994 in the journal Science by Paul Serrano, Jeffrey Wilson, Hans Larsen, Didier Dutel, and Hans Dieter Seuss in the paper Early Cretaceous Dinosaurs from the Sahara. Originally, it was thought to have lived in the Cretaceous until sediments at the Tiorian Formation, where it was found, were further analyzed, and they found that it was actually from the Mid-Jurassic instead. One nearly complete skeleton was found, and it was most of the skull, parts of the spinal column, partial forelimbs, partial pelvis, and some of the hind limbs. The type species, and only species, is Afrovenator abacensis, and the species name refers to abaca, the Taurig name for the area of Niger where Afrovenator was discovered. It was about 26 feet or 8 meters long and weighed about 1 ton, and it was bipedal and had 3 claws on each hand, and it had long forelimbs and lower legs. It also had a pretty flat skull. The length is almost 3 times the height, though some of the skull is missing, so it might not be that flat. It has a few distinct traits, such as a low rectangular spine on the third neck vertebra and a flat, crescent-shaped wrist bone. It was lightweight and probably pretty fast, and its maxilla had 14 tooth sockets, though no teeth were found. There's no direct evidence that Afrovenator hunted Jobaria, but this may have happened, or at least Afrovenator may have gone after the juvenile Jobaria sauropods. A skeleton of Afrovenator is now at the University of Chicago. And again, Afrovenator is part of the group Megalosauridae, Though Serrano originally described Afrovenator as a basal spinosauroid, and another study in 2003 found it more closely related to Allosaurus, though no one else has concluded that. Huxley named the family Megalosauridae in 1869, and it was a wastebasket group, which means it included a large variety of unrelated species like Dryptosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Velociraptor. This group lived in the mid to late Jurassic about 170 to 148 million years ago, and they've been found in Europe, North America, South America, and Africa. They're cousins of Spinosauridae, and the group includes Afrovenator and Torvosaurus. Thomas R. Holtz offered an alternate group definition as all dinosaurs more closely related to Megalosaurus than to Spinosaurus, Allosaurus, or modern birds. They're primitive theropods, small to large size, with sharp teeth, and they had three claws on each hand. Big predators are usually harder to find than prey, so not too much is known about Megalosaurus, but Megalosaurus did look similar to T-Rex and may have been covered in proto-feathers. Big hairy guy. Yeah. <laughs> sort of like hair. <laughs> 